On March 28th, an earthquake of magnitude 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale jolted Myanmar, killing at least 3,000 people and causing severe damage to infrastructure and property. Images and videos of the devastation, the impact of which was also felt in Thailand and China, are all over news websites. Just days after the disaster, scientists have assessed that the quake could actually be a super shear, a rare type of earthquake in which the energy of a rupture moves exceptionally fast through the ground, amplifying the destruction. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai and welcome to another episode of Pure Science. Before we get into the science of the super shear earthquakes, let us quickly understand how earthquakes occur. This will give us a clearer picture of how a regular earthquake would be different from a super shear one. The Earth's outer shell, called the lithosphere, is divided into pieces called the tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, but they don't always move in a consistent manner. During this movement, the plates tend to get stuck against each other due to friction. Now, with the continuous movement, stress builds up where the tectonic plates get stuck. This can happen along falls, which are cracks in the Earth's crust or between plates. Every now and then, this stress becomes too much for the rocks to handle. The stored energy is suddenly released, causing the ground to shake, and this becomes an earthquake. Now, a super shear is also a kind of earthquake in which the rupture of the fault moves faster than the speed of sound in the surrounding rock. An earthquake rupture is the breaking and movement of rocks along a fault plane which is nothing but a fracture or crack in the Earth's crust where rocks have moved past each other. In a typical earthquake, the rupture front, which is the point where the fault begins to slip, propagates at a speed slower than the speed of sound in the Earth's crust. But when it comes to a super shear earthquake, the rupture front exceeds the speed creating a shock wave similar to a sonic boom that can lead to more intense ground shaking. The phenomenon occurs when certain conditions allow the fault to break at a speed faster than the local seismic velocity. This can happen if the fault has specific structural properties or if the earthquake is triggered under particular stress conditions. Super shear earthquakes are typically associated with large, powerful events that occur along major fault lines. Now, coming to what scientists know from the Myanmar earthquake. Frederick Tillman, a seismologist from Germany, said that his team has examined the initial data from the quake sites and assessed the rupture of this earthquake with the back projection technique. This technique is used to locate the source of an event, like in this case an earthquake, based on data collected from multiple locations. The preliminary findings indicate that the Sajaeng Fault, which runs north-south through the heart of Myanmar, has broken and may have ruptured over 400 kilometers or more. Tillman explained in the analysis that the rupture traveled at a speed of about 5 kilometers per second, making it the earthquake equivalent of a supersonic jet. In the coming days, researchers may be able to confirm this by examining satellite imagery of the region taken before and after the quake. Experts say that this impact might also be the reason why Thailand's capital, Bangkok, which is over 1000 kilometers from the earthquake's epicenter, also felt the tremors with such intensity. Because the fracture unzipped towards south, it directed this pent-up energy towards Bangkok, which made the earthquake have such a strong impact so far away. There is also another interesting aspect that might have played a role in Bangkok experiencing such strong jolts from such a distance. Scientists say that the intensity with which an earthquake is felt on the surface also depends on the type of soil in the area where it hits. 
in soft soil which is what bangkok is built on seismic waves or the vibrations on the surface tend to slow down and build up getting bigger in size so bangkok's geology would have made the ground shaking more intense seismologists have also confirmed the myanmar quake to be a shallow quake which happened at a depth of just about 10 kilometers from the surface such earthquakes also tend to increase the amount of shaking on the surface what is worrying is that contrary to what was previously believed the number of super shear earthquakes have become more common in the last few decades in a 2022 study by the university of california scientists found that between 2000 and 2021 There were 14% super shear earthquakes reported from across the world as opposed to just 6% before this. The recent earthquake and the damage it caused should serve as a wake up call to governments worldwide to build disaster resilient infrastructure, implement effective rescue and rehabilitation plans and prepare citizens to evacuate high rise buildings in a way that minimizes damage. So even if such disasters occur and they inevitably will at least we can recover from them more quickly That is all from me I am Soumya Pele and this was Pure Science